Okay, first of all, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak in such a beautiful conference and, you know, such an event. And, of course, uh, somehow the subject of talk is very closely connected to what uh, Offer did over the years. First of all, Perverse Chiefs, now he even admits that he is part of it. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, also, somehow, I will talk about uh, infinite dimensional generalizations. So, of course. Okay, so let us, uh, I will write down a plan. One of the reasons why I want to write, because I don't know, I'm not sure how far I will go, but <laughs> first is will be motivation. We'll, namely, it will be finite dimensional situation. Second, I will formulate my goal. Third, I will form, uh, talk about uh, uh, characters, uh, wait, um, categories, sorry. categories of elliptic shifts on prestex, or maybe infinity prestex. Uh, next. <laughs> I will talk about somehow there will be some categories. Categories will be infinity drive categories or, st or stable infinity categories. And next I will say uh, about perverse T structures, perverse shifts. On, let's say, nice press text. Namely, categories will, will exist always in very big generality, and uh, in order to define perverse structure, we'll need certain smoothness kind of uh, restrictions or whatever, or, or some finiteness restriction. Finally, I will formulate main result. And after that, hopefully, I will get in order to this, because I will need uh, some formal result, will use some stratification. And stratification we will need is Goretzky Kotvex Matferson stratification. And uh, the last ingredient I will want to, <laughs> you know, I'm optimistic, you know, otherwise. <laughs> you know, to, it's impossible for, to, to, you see, it's impossible to live in Israel without being, being optimist. Smallness, or smallness of uh, Grothendieck Springer uh, affine resolution. <laughs> but this is actually uh, just uh, dimension count, so it's not. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, first of all, let us start. Uh, start first of all, motivation. So motivation, of course, comes from. Uh, as you probably all have known, that I'm coming from uh, uh, representation theory. Namely, I want to apply some algebraic geometry and category theory to get concrete results uh, in representation theory, and specifically something connected to Langlands program. Uh, so motivation is for us. So let G will be the usual connected reductive group over some algebraic closed field. Uh, good example, cl algebraic closure of the over a finite field, if you really want to apply it to representation theory. Then I want G of G is a joint quotient. <laughs> okay, and then you can consider uh, Yes, no, because it's actually it's actually very nice, very nice notation because uh, the, there are three actions: one is the left, right, and a joint. Actually, so at least this is self-explanatory notation. No, it's a quotient stack. Okay, if you consider on the level of points, it will be. Conjugate classes, but it's also by a group. 
Okay, it's uh, uh, okay. So far, it's you know art and stack of finite type. It will disappear soon. <laughs> okay, and then we will consider D is it is the, the category that usual familiar category, which is you know D B C. Okay, L or L bar does, does, it, does it matter? Where L is uh, prime different from K, it's as usual uh, drive category. And then it, uh, it's a. It's to define it, still some work to define it. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is, yes. But, but actually, 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 I will, uh, I, I will soon, soon give, give you a way that, that in some sense, if you work with infinity categories, that to define it actually you can do without no work. Essentially, we'll talk about it in a moment. Y you're right, of course. It's it's true, but somehow the uh, okay. And then it contains very nice subobject, which is called, called character shifts, which I'm not go going to discuss now. But I'm going to introduce one important example, which I'm going to generalize, or at least try to generalize. Example, which is called Grothendieck Springer shift. Consider the following. Consider B cross B, which is the same as a joint quotient where B is Borel. And uh, what is the uh, Grothendieck Springer shift, which I will call S? This is just pi of uh, the. Uh, maybe I want to say that somehow this is very nice stack which is uh, smooth of dimension zero. In particular, there is a very nice shift here, which is dualizing. The constant shift is dualizing shift are just the same, no even shifts and twists. Uh, so it's D of D of B. And Springer shift, of course, is uh, uh, of whatever, QL. And all the functors will be derived. I will not write R. In, in any point, okay? And this morphism, of course, is uh, proper. So I, do, I can put either Shiriko star, but uh, at the moment at least, but I will put this one. Now, what is uh, known about this shift? Okay, known is then, what is known as is perverse. The second, uh, you know, that S is minimal extension where j is uh, embedded into g regular semi-simple. Regular semi-simple. This is the second property. Third property is uh, that double, uh, w affine wire group. So let us, let us, I will say, even stronger assertion. The set of automorphism of S is just equal to the w. Which is wild group of G? No, automorphism, not endomorphism. Group of automorphisms. No, but if you are, if you know that add, the, if you know the automorphism, the endomorphism algebra, which is a QL algebra, the automorphisms form the units in this QL algebra, which is bigger than. The Yes, that's what I want. Uh, okay, you know. Let us say, say, say. You, you are, you are right. Yes. Okay. This, uh, with this, of course, was what, 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 what I ac actually needs. But, but of course, yes. And the morphism is a fine while group. And moreover, for if you have a irreducible representation of W, then you can consider the is a typical component. Uh, let's say, in this case, it's finite group and uh, uh, the characteristic is zero, so, so it does not matter. So let us, I will write down the, uh, the reason I'm writing down because I have in mind something for the fine setting that most likely I will not have t time to talk about this. But, uh, okay, so this is, is irreducible. Okay, 
And this, of course, example of the character shifts. And more general character shifts, you do similar thing, except you replace here b over b by p over p by parabolic subgroup. And you replace the constant shift by, by the shift which is pullback of the Casper local system, whatever it is, which George defined it, studied for many, okay, intensively. And uh, of course, somehow this is more general. Okay, now the question is what is we are, so first part was okay. Now we are going to our goal. Goal to extend everything. To, to the affine setting. Okay, so I want to, so what does it mean I have to uh, extend? I want to extend this, then I want to extend this, then I want to extend this. Okay, Springer shift and uh, this, this result. And uh, the answer is that it's possible to do it, there is a, some small modification. Okay, first of all, G, you replace by what? By the loop group of G. What is the loop group of G? Which is loop group of G. And uh, what it is, by the definition, by definition, loop G is, is a functor from uh, algebras of K to sets. Right? And what is LG of A? It's by the definition is G of A of T. Okay. So as a functor is defined, now it's uh, known by, I am not good in history. Well, probably Gerd was the first one who, who, who wrote it carefully, but I'm not sure. So I don't want to, so that's somehow it's in. Uh, it's in scheme, but in scheme in a really in scheme, namely, namely that, that some, somehow not like in the previous talk. In the previous talk, there were in scheme, but it was inductive limit of finite dimensional varieties. Here it's really okay. Now you can do. Now you can st let us start try to generalize. What you want g over g? G over g. You want to write the same thing. Okay. Now where you can ask what it is. And the answer it is you was a functor from affine k to to what you you, you, you just want to group weights. Namely, you just uh, take uh, you know uh, every a goes to So LGRA is a, is, is a group object, so this is just the, 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 the I, I will write group point action of the group by, by the group, or if you wish, it's the category whose objects are here. Okay, and actually, actually, actually I will talk, in, and later I, I want to say that, of course, later I will use uh, the remark that, that its groupoids will be part of the infinity groupoids. Or what is the same as spaces? Now the, you can ask the, the following questions. Uh, can one define? Can one define? First question: What is the D of LG of LG? Second question, can you define this element S? Grothendieck Springer shift. Uh, third question, can you define the. Okay, uh, can you define uh, perverse stru structure? Perverse destruction? And uh, four is S is p perverse. And question five, let me put uh, the same thing. Just, uh, okay, I mean perverse and you know, 
maybe some 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 others. Question five says that, that let a let uh, okay uh, yes what I want uh, okay may, maybe you know what I will say even more here. The question is whether I want here whether I want here. This is defined by a fine while group. And question five, let V will be a representation of, uh, let's say, irreducible representation. Irreducible representation of a fine while group. Uh, and you can ask whether, uh, you can ask SV by using similar formula, whatever it means. First of all, can you define it? Whether is, is, okay, defined perverse and irreducible. Okay, so so far I formulated some questions and now let us say uh, trying to give answers. So first I will uh, give answers. So, you said me? When you form the LG mod LG, there's no certification that you're doing, right? No, 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 no certification. There is no need for certification and, and I will comment on this later because later I will talk, uh, talk about chiefs and then Yes, you're right. What, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what is the main idea I learned from a uh, paper of, I guess, Dennis? That somehow that you don't need to shift. Sometimes it's better not to shiftify things. Okay. So, uh, for so uh, at least for certain questions, it's e easier. Then you can, you, can, you can ask what happens, uh, whether something changed when you after you shift shiftify. And fortunately, in our case, the answer would be no. You mean the group with itself doesn't change after? No, 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 no. The group says yes, but the the she, the category of shifts would not change. Ah, okay. Category of shifts would not change. Would not somehow be before shiftification, after shiftification would would be canonically equivalent. Yeah, it is more like stackification or Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Shiftification means stack stackification. Yes. You're right. Yes. You're right. Okay. Now let us say answers. This is joint. Uh, uh, this is our joint uh, work on partially. I mean, it's not written, so it's almost done. But you know, I will write in progress to be on the safe side with uh, Alexis Boutier <coughs> and David Kajdan. Okay. First of all, answers A1, A2. So its answer to this question is then says yes. Okay, A3, A4, uh, the answer is yes after some modification. And in a moment I, I will say what kind of modification you, you will need. And what is the reason? Okay, and uh, 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 answer five. Okay, first of all, it's uh, okay. First of all, this is SV is defined. Uh, most likely, meaning uh, that somehow it is, uh, so we are sure that it is, what well, I say, conjecture, or, or, or I say, almost serum, but, but not, uh, not in the sense of almost mathematic. <laughs> Uh, SV is perverse. Okay, namely that, that there are some, some, okay, we have a reason, but we don't, uh, there are some, some, some te technical details to check. But what is not true, uh, SV is not irreducible. Not irreducible in almost all cases. For example, uh, take G equal SL2. And take V equal sign representation. If I take sign representation, it would not be reducible. It would contain uh, two irreducible uh, summons. And actually, I'm not sure, sure it is semi simple. Most likely, no. OK, anyway, anyway this is some, some, something that we have to carry out. For, for example, on the other hand, and, uh, we do know the answer is for V is trivial, it's very easy to answer. The answer is yes, it would be reducible. It could, can it also be zero? For some, uh, can it? 
also be zero. The answer is no, because, because we know of, 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 over the regular semi simple, over the whatever, uh, over the locus where the uh, reduction is regular semi simple, it's a, it's, it's a regular representation. No, like in the case, like in the, in the finite case, over the regular semi simple, it's, 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 it's just, just a re regular representation. Okay, so then you get what you, what you, what you should get, yes. Yes. In particular, non zero. Yes, in, in particular, it's non, non, non zero. You are working with the presentation of the affine value group? Or yes, I see. No, as I say, in, in the affine case, it's also true. Okay. In the affine case, it's also true. Over, some, over, over a nice locus, it is, it, is, it is precisely the regular representation, and you can ask whether, whether it's extension. Okay, I will, in a moment, I will say you. Affine value group has a big uh, translation yes. part. So what does yes. it mean the regular representation? Is in regular representation? I, I, even infinite group has, has a regular representation. On uh, the it, it, will be in, it will be infinite dimensional. Yes. Like Dennis constructed, it, it, will, it will be not constructible. Okay, it will be, you know, uh, okay. This D would, would, would be not constructible, it will be inconstructible. Yes. No, in a moment, I will yes. define the category. No, it's definitely not constructible. You can ask, okay. Good. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Maybe, maybe I want to com comment on this. What you do is the following. Let n, which is not the same as n, which is, uh, actually, maybe n is a v not good notation, but it's, it's what is called nilpotent call, but nilpotent, you mean topologically nilpotent, but actually in our case, it's not even topologically nilpotent, but the set of elements with, uh, okay, let us say, with LG uh, will be the set of uh, uh, locally, Closed, uh, whatever, sub, sub int, whatever, <laughs> scheme, size that let us, I will write what, what is its, its a point. Uh, let us do not notation, let f be, will be k over t. So lg of k is, of course, uh, the same of g of f. And you want that, that I will say you what is n of f, okay? What, what is f valid point? Oh, not f valid point, k, k valid point. It's the same as uh, g into g of f, such that the g is regular semi-simple. Semi-simple, and also I want uh, that the characteristic polynomial, uh, let's say g is bounded. Let's say g is bounded. But this is the same as characteristic polynomial has coefficients in OF. And uh, I hope to be get to a point that I will define it properly. Okay. Again? The determinant is invertible or something. Uh, uh, yes, 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 yes. The determinant yes. is invertible. Okay, maybe I won't before, so uh, yes. And, and now what is, uh, let me write down precisely what is, uh, what I mean almost. And answer, okay, and answer three says the following, that there exists perverse structure on, what? Why is it called N? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know what is a better term. <laughs> No, it's it's bad terminology. A any suggestions? I will, I, I will accept. But after the lecture, <laughs> I don't know. Why it's okay, I say somehow n is uh, because uh, it's uh, like topologically important, but actually it's even not topologically important. <laughs> it's bounded. I don't know what's bounded. <laughs> no, but v is overused. I don't know. <laughs> v b is Borel, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, anything. Okay, you know, you know. Let us let, let us call, call it this. Okay, so 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 we have a perverse structure on D of uh, LG. You can ask why this this uh, okay why this condition, and the answer is as follows. Uh, we will see later when I uh, explain the um, perverse shifts. Uh, somehow our spaces are very very infinite dimensional because uh, they are not only infinite dimensional. There is the int part and pro part. Okay. And it turns out that uh, the pro part is not a problem, but the int part is a, is, is a problem. So let us consider the quotient LG divided by LG. Then both LGs has int part. 
And in some sense, this is both of them cause the problem, and you want somehow to kill these int parts. And now what I claim is that if you consider n modulo LG, that we essentially killed both, uh, both uh, uh, int parts. Because here, this n with this characteristic polynomial is bounded. And here is that all the, center, all the stabilizers are not bounded, but they bounded up to some lattice. But we are Ital topology, and Ital topology is uh, if, if you have uh, discrete stabilizers, it's not a problem. No, because the stabilizer is what? The, the stabilizer of each point is what? It's uh, the loop group of the centralizer, which is a torus, right? So, so, so it covers the pro part and it covers the lattice part. Lattice part is not a problem. So this is the reason. So, so, so our restrictions is, has, has actually the, uh, there is a good reason why we, we need it. Of course, it would not explain why we, uh, so somehow why it gives a structure, because we, we need more than, somehow, formally speaking, we're using more than this. But if you consider a torus with values in uh, not necessarily the dual string, the loop group, I mean, you can have in the loop group some... But it, it's a tight topology. Okay, it's a tight topology. It's important we, we, we can disregard. You're right, you're uh, right. There are, there, are, there are plenty of, uh, you're right, there are plenty of uh, nil potents which has to be taken with care. But fortunately, they the, the not affect the, the et, 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 et cohomology. Okay, now let us start, uh, okay. The next, now I want the part number three. I want to give uh, <coughs> categories of logic. Oh, is it maximum? Yes. Ah, it's maximum. It's Okay, yes, and here I am very fortunate that, that Dennis gave talk before, and before he did, did uh, part of the hard work, except we need actually more general setting. But not much more general setting. It will be categories, okay. Categories of elastic shifts. Uh, on uh, infinity press text. Okay, first of all, what is infinity press text? Oh, press text. Infi uh, yes, maybe I want to say that, that, that because, uh, so uh, despite of the fact that the, all the objects are infinite dimensional, but uh, I personally, very ignorant person, I only know what, what is the elastic shift of, of, of on the variety of finite type of a field. Even moreover, here I even need only variety of a, of a fine variety of finite type of fields. And the idea is that actually what, what we want to do, we want to start from, from this finite dimensional station and then apply cat cat category theory and hope, and hope it will solve all, all our problems. It does not help, <laughs> happens, unfortunately, but in some sense it does. Okay, so what is uh, press tech, infinity press tech? Infinity press tech is a functor from uh, a fine, oh, just a minute, what I did, I, I want, uh, I, what, what, what it was before, I, because it was algebra, I know what I say, a fine opposite to infinity groupoids, which is the same as spaces. Okay, and actually at least all the press tech, okay, okay. The press text that will actually appear will be take values in the usual uh, usual groupoids. But if you want to develop the whole theory, you you would better to use uh, this this set. Now you want to say that now for every so go for every this press text. Ah yes yes, okay. Uh, no, it's not pseudo founder. Okay, the, the, the founder should understand in the following way. You can ask what are the infinity groupoids or spaces form? It's form infinity category. Yes. This is a category, in particular infinity category. It is a functor of infinity categories, whatever it means. This is a big thing because there are many people who work on what is in infinity category. So. But nowadays it's, uh, you know, what? <laughs> No, no, but, but let's ignore it because there is no, 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 I want to, 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 to some, I'm not, okay. I want to convince you that if you use the uh, language of infinity categories, then everything becomes much easier. But of course, uh, if I cannot do all the details. 
Well, let us assume that infinity categories are like categories, which is the correct way of thinking. <laughs> and there are some, some, some thousands of page, pages that uh, people, Ludi, etc., wrote. So in some sense, uh, nowadays, uh, the, the theory is rather, rather settled down. OK, one has to be, of course, one has to be careful. You're right. And, and maybe I will I, I, I even point out the points where, when, when one has to, 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 to be careful. But still, Prostec is a certain factor. For example, the Prostec we will be interested in is uh, oh, this, this one, LG divided by, by, by LG. At least you kind of understand what it is. Okay, let's do it. Okay, for every Prostec, our goal will be to define certain category which I will write it, namely, somehow, there are actually several choices. There are at least, uh, actually, will be two categories, this one and this one. This means constructible, will be small category, and this will be the big category. And big category, for a big category, there are four choices, kind of, because you have to choose its category with respect to shriek or star, and you want int or pro. And for some reason, I will, I mean, for, I will use the uh, same, same terminology as Dennis. No, actually, uh, by, by the same reason, probably as Dennis. But I maybe want to say uh, just uh, the remark that if you want something like she functions correspondence, then it's better to consider Verdier dual version. In a sense, uh, Verdier dual version will be, it will be actually star and uh, pro. So the choices that you mentioned before one give different categories? Yes, it will be different categories. Uh, two of them will be Verdier dual, but two of them are not. We will, will be Verdier duality, but it's not Verdier duality within one category. Uh, between the pair? Yes. <coughs> the other pair is not? It's also. It's also, so, 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 but, but some, 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 why why the, why the, this cho choice is better. And of course, one of the reasons is Dennis explained it, for example, that this is, that uh, Shriek has a, uh, has a left adjoint. Okay, and Dennis explained that there was a general, you know, the category of sets, it's not self-dual. Sets is not equivalent to set opposites. Yeah. And it's uh, therefore left adjoint and right adjoint, there are some, 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 some different features. What? Okay. Okay, let's start. Okay, so what you do, we do the same, the procedure is, is uh, as uh, uh, Dennis indicated, case A, let uh, x will be, let's say, affine, actually affine does, does not need, or fine a type of uh, k. Then we define uh, dc of x is dcb xql. But I want to consider the corresponding uh, enhanced version. So it's the infinity derived category, whatever it means. OK, I consider this one. And also, uh, it's the other one will be just the int. Okay. Then what is what what is important uh, that uh, uh, all the six operations, or at least four four functors, uh, uh, can be lifted to upgraded to the setting. In particular, for every x y, there exists a functor which I say, as I told you, the the main functor for me is this one, the Schrick pullback. Okay. So far. So good? Okay, except, of course, so, 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 this is almost the same category, except, as I, as I say, that it's not, uh, it's, not a dry, it's not a triangulated category, but it's what is called stable infinity category. Now, the next step is you want to say, let x be affine. But for affine schemes, you know, x is a limit over xi, where xi is affine of finite type. Am I right? And then, and then what you do, you, you define, define d, d of c of x is by definition is core limit. Actually, I was k 
careful enough, it creates co-limit in the category of categories, except, okay, one uh, digressions, all the co-limit will be homotopic limit, and I don't want to, so, so, so everything will, would, would be homotopic limit, or if you wish, uh, uh, if you wish uh, in other words, somehow the infinity categories call, inf so, so there is infinity category of infinity categories, and in the infinity categories, in every infinity category, there is a notion of the limit. And so this is the limit inside of this infinity category. All infinity categories. What? Infinity categories. Yes, yes. Category. Yes, but, but, but uh, so, so, so there is some, something homotopic limit. Despite that, of course, in the applications that we had in mind, actually, uh, what happens uh, that X, uh, uh, this this functor would be fully faithful, and then you can really define everything on the level of triangulated categories. Then, then the homotopic limit is actually the same as colimit one 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 used. To. Yes, but now what's important is colimit with with respect to yes. And now claim is it is independent. What? Yes. It is just a pullbacks, yes? Star pull pullbacks. As I said, our main factor is, 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 is a star pullbacks. You have, you have a projective system here. You have, have an injective. Shriek. Shriek, shriek. No, but the call limit is relative to. Uh, oh, pullbacks. Sorry, sorry. Pullbacks. Sorry. So our only operation would, would be. Okay, so it's independent, uh, independent on the presentation. Okay, it's independent on the on the presentation. Now, okay, this is this. Okay, now functoriality for any x uh, morphism from x to y of affine schemes. There exists a fa fa okay. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, my, my, maybe I will say this in a moment. There, there exists a natural functor from d of y to d of x. But since you're doing it over a filtering category, probably the homotopy will limit because the higher derived direct limits are zero. When no, why? But this for abelian groups when you have a filtering category. So I'm not sure. Is it the case that that's the level naive triangulated? No, no, no. So it's it's not not fully fully faithful map. It's not it's not not fully faithful. It's very important. If you pass to homotopy categories, there it's also still a homotopy element, no? No. No. What's that I say? No. no. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm pretty, I so okay. If if this is fully faithful. No, no, if this is fully faithful, the answer is yes. In general, I am pretty sure that the answer is no. I cannot give 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 a counterexample on the stop. Yeah. No, uh, the transition maps. If all the transition maps would be fully faithful, then the answer, of course, would be yes. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure that the answer is no. But let me not. Because uh, it does not. Uh... No. You know, say I, I'm not good in finding counterexample on the. <laughs> no, but I don't know the definition of the limit. Okay, no, there is a okay, there is a notion. Okay, no, as I said, send, send, send the following. The, the correct, okay, the correct definition is as follows. The, okay, you want. What? Compatible system of some kind in little d. Yes, uh, some. There is, uh, this is okay. Okay, maybe actually, you know what? Maybe the, what what Peter asked is correct, but I'm let's say I'm not sure. <laughs> in in, in this, you are, you are working in some world of of replacing triangular categories by what you call stable and infinity. Yes. You, did, you didn't say what it is, so we cannot. I mean, if I don't know it already. I cannot know what. No, no, but it's a okay. limit in this sense. I okay, okay. I there is no, there is, okay. The, so suppose you have a category, usual category. Then there is a notion of ca of of ca limits inside this category. Yes. There, is, there, is, there is a certain diagram you can die. Now what I claim that suppose your category is infinity category. Yes. Then 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 there is also the same uh, essentially the same definition which says that inside of infinity categories there is a notion of ca limit. Now what I say is that this is each this guy is a stable 
infinity category. But stable infinity categories form an infinity category. And you form co-limit inside this infinity category. Whatever it means. Yeah, I'm really sure that on the level of homotopy categories. It might be, okay, but maybe it's correct. You see, I, I don't it just means part of the usual. Oh, uh, you know, I. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's definitely false. <laughs> so, 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 it's, de it's definitely false. Okay. The, the, or each object comes from V. What is the mapping space? The mapping space take 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 two 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 object ob, object here and take and take the mapping space and you want co-limit of mapping space it doesn't come come use was take taken by zero. It does. It's a filter uh, column. It's filtered. It's filtered. Filtered columns. <sighs> Sorry. Then it is. <laughs> you're right. Yes. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're right. You're right. Right. Here. Yes, uh, you're, you're, you're right, right, here, here, here it is. But any, any, anyway, there is, there is this one. Okay, now the, now the question, uh, okay, now the third, third is let uh, x be, be a, any press tag. And then what you do is the following. I def ah, yes, maybe, maybe the only thing uh, it, it's better to do it here. And I want to say what is uh, I want to say what what is d of x is the end d c of x, or, or it's the same as co-limit in the in the same sense that Dennis explained it in the in the, the previous talk. It's co-limit of uh, d of x i's, but in the sense of co-limits on in, inside of categories which come which has all co-complete. Yes. Now. Okay. Okay. C is uh, okay. Uh, then, then some call C. Some call let now X be any prostec. Then we define what is D of X. Is the uh, I will write something, and then, then I will explain what, what, what is going on. Uh, the question, take any morphism, take D of A, where A is a fine. That is, to, to give an to, to element, uh, object in, in the category, it is the same thing as is for every, uh, you, you want for every morphism form of the affine scheme to x to give its d of a, which is, which is functorial in a. And of course it is in that sub-ion. Not just functorial, but compatible really with pullbacks. Uh, yes, yes, no, compatible with, with, with pullbacks, yes. And also some higher coherence. Yes, of course, yes. No, yes, as, as I said, 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 limits here is everything. <sighs> No, it's limits of infinity category, but somehow, but here, but limits uh, somehow, it's, it's, actually, it's actually a rather usual operation. In the sense that it limits you essentially can, can, can calculate naively. Hmm? What? No, not at all. Like here's a really lot of coherences in there. Yes and no. No, no, no. No, no, no. The index sense is complicated. What, what is the object? No, no, you, 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 you cannot spell out, it's true. Like the co-limit is easy, but this limit is extremely complicated. Okay, it depends what to call. <laughs> okay, you know, okay, okay. Let us give 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 example, which is let us give give example, which is compatible. I mean, if you want to spell out, you need in infinitely many data. It's true. Yeah. But then you even don't try. <laughs> <laughs> Compatible with uh, pullbacks. Well, as I say, say example. What what is uh, suppose you have a, have a, have a some? Uh, well, let us say even the, do the more general situation it will will be even easier. Let's g x x everything is finite dimensional or fine. From this follows we want one then then of course L g goes to L x. 
then you can consider what is the drive category on LG of L, L, uh, LX model LG, okay? And then uh, you, you, you can ask how to calculate it. And the answer is that actually it's a, it's sort of that it's easy to calculate and you write the same bar complex that, pe that people would assume. It's somehow D of LX LG limit of what? D of LX D of LG. G of Lx okay and it does not matter whether you put arrows in this direction or not but now what what's what's important somehow in some, somehow it's true that somehow the usually you can see that the the drive category on some so some complicated object of simplicial schemes. And usually it's a very com complicated uh, object. Here you, in some sense, uh, do the same, but you package the difficulties differently. You, you, do, you just write the same diagram as before. This is the usual bar complex. And you just take take limit, but limit has to, to, be, to, be, to, be, to be taken uh, in, in, in the appropriate sets. If, if you try to spell out it, it's impossible. But in some sense, it's, it's an advantage you even don't try. Because the, the only thing what, what, what you have to do, you have to, to use some certain properties. And why, and, and the, the, okay, if you wish why, and the reason is, The reason is that Lx model Lg is just co-limit of this diagram. And this, after you spell out the definition, it's essentially, a it's almost a tautology. If you write the down, down, down what, what is the definition of colimits, and you use that, that colimits uh, in the uh, colimits uh, commutes with, with base changes, then some, 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 some call. It's just remember that we are in the category of functors, right? So okay, you, should, you, should, you should check any, a, any your test uh, affine scheme, and you calculate its value here and value here, and then, 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 then it's just uh, some call general nonsense. So. Calculation. So, 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 it just needs some factorial properties. Yes, and uh, this from this is is, is, is is essentially a tautology. So, this kind of definition of what 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 it is. The only somehow the advantage of of infinity categories is that if you try to do in the derived categories in 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 translated categories there is no limits. You can you cannot even write this thing. You, know, you can write, but usually it doesn't exist. There's no limits inside triangulated categories so limits of triangulated categories. Okay, now let us uh, somehow. Mm. Boy, how, how I get. Okay. Now you can ask what about perverse shifts? Okay, as I said, somehow on perverse shifts, there is an essential difficulty because uh, you see, perverse shifts, it's something about, uh, in the definition of perverse shifts, there is a dimension involved. And here, everything is infinite dimension. You can ask what you can do in order to overcome it. Okay, but, but let's start. Perverse shifts on some rest x. What you do, of course, uh, the same thing that we did, did before, uh, but, uh, but then you have, have to be a little bit careful. Okay, first you won't let x be usual finite dimension, how to say, a fine, which is not, not necessary, for finite, uh, or finite type of, of a k. Then, then you can ask uh, the following, okay, then you d of x, has a perverse 
this structure. The, the problem is that now you want that, that, that this T structure nicely behaves uh, in, in a functorial way. Problem is that if even you take the nicest possible morphism, which is smooth, no, nicely smooth, then is, is somehow T exact only up to, up to homological shift. Right? Because uh, there, uh, there is some, some homological shift, and therefore, if you take limits, it will be infinite homological shift. It's, it's not good because we, we don't want to, to, to get something. But now, but, but here, but there is, of course, the uh, very easy solution how to overcome this problem. Solution we consider I shifted. Perverse structure. So let us say, for, for example, let, let us say x will be equidimensional. So what you do you, 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 you just apply a homological shift in, in order to, to, to make it compatible. So you define, you say that D is uh, uh, DB is, uh, let us say, I shifted perverse if and only if, if and only if uh, the f, oh, I hope I do it correctly, is perverse. For example, example that you have to make in mind, the dualizing shift is perverse in this new shifted T structure. Uh, so, sorry. If uh, X is smooth, then you want that dualizing shift is perverse. This is what? X to the, uh, sorry, it's QL, twice dimension, right? And you want to check when this perverse, the answer is when you Minus this, it, it, will, it will be perverse. So we just shift it in, in the cor correct direction. But now what is nice about this is that somehow, for, uh, somehow the shift only depends on the x. So for every x, you know how to shift. Of course, there is, a, there is a some uh, uh, small te technicalities what to, to do in the not equidimensional situation, but I don't want to, to dis discuss it. It's possible to, to, to do it, and unfortunately, there is a more than one solution, which I don't like. <laughs> I mean, there, are, there is one solution which is, which is true in general, but there is other simple solutions which, which would have uh, uh, worse uh, functional reality properties, which is enough for many applications. But nevertheless, what we do, we just take, take the usual uh, usual per perverse shift, perverse structure, and then you shift it by dimension. Then, okay, this is uh, what we did for the, let's say, for the finite type. Now B, okay, definition, let X be, uh, okay, uh, say X, say definition, let X be, mm. An affine scheme X is called placid if X can be limit of XI, XI of finite type at all, pra all transition maps are smooth. For example, there is a, all the, uh, all the, some wrong. Example, if you take, let's say, L plus of G, or let's say, any, any, any R groups are of, of this, this, of this type. So, 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 so it's just pro projective limit, projective limit of something, which is all the transition maps are smooth. Mm, which is limit of what is called. Something like this. But in this case, we defined, 
Okay, in, in this game, there is a claim, which is actually easy exercise, to see that, that what? Uh, what? What is our category? Our category that we know that uh, dx, uh, dx has a unique t structure such that all transition maps, uh, si such that, that, that uh, all maps uh, for all Ah, T exact. <laughs> Why? Because uh, I forgot whether this exists. Oh, it's already. Uh, yes, because what, uh, what is this guy? This guy, it's co limit over DXI. So, uh, let us see. No, but if you shift all of them, uh, then uh, the, by the same integer. Then no, no, it's not the same integer. In, in, it depends on x. On every x, I change it by the dimension of x. Yeah, but, the, but in the claim, you say all maps projection after a shape. Yes. T exact. Okay. Yes. No, 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 no. But t exact with, with, with respect to shifted t structure. In shifted t structure, sh the shift depends on the xi. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, you are uh, doing, yes. Uh, yes, the, so this is the equidimensional case. Yes, yes, yeah, okay, I, may, I say it's possible to do it not because it's, a, it's actually a locally equidimensional case, but actually you, you can do it even in general, but let me ignore this issue because I'm anyway, I have, have to finish very, very soon. Okay, and now let, let us put, put C. And now what is, what is the functoriality? Functoriality says, 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 says the following, uh, okay, e easy claim. If x, y is pro smooth, then is t exact. No, it's essentially it's essentially general nonsense because. And now we we want to, to do the uh, want to, to, to do the the, the some called general case. Okay. Now you, you want us to do something which is not a fine case. But let us consider, let us do do example, which is essentially what we do. Let x will be equivalent e x by r. No, I mean quotient x by r. Where, where, where we have the r is, uh, okay. Where you, you, you want that, that, that x and r. Oh, sorry. It's uh, R is what its uh, pro-smooth groupoid. In placid affine skips. Okay. Okay. Let's not uh, let's 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 not, not discuss what what uh, what is posmos. But no. But you can say it's the following. I guess I'm going for 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 this purpose. It's, it's enough. It's, it's enough to show this uh, this is uh, this is the inverse limit of finite dimensional. This is infinite limit of finite dimensional. And you can assume that there, there exists a presentation such that uh, it's uh, the uh, inverse limit of uh, the smooth maps. Okay, this is for so, and this is in a, in a, enough for this purpose because you know you, you, you remember somehow all the all the categories are coming from finite dimensional level. In particular, everything actually comes from finite dimensional level. Okay, what let, let us do of place to find schemes. Then uh, what you want to say is that d of uh, x r. Which is re remember what it was. It was the limit over dx, d what, uh, whatever. It was r, d of uh, whatever. What, what was r, r x, etc. Right. The request has unique t structure such that what you want 
that its pullback is t exactly. And the idea is very, very simple. What you want? You, you want, for, for example, you, you take any, any object here. You, you want to, to write it as exact sequence of left, less than equal and greater than equal. Take it here. Consider this diagram. Take it, pull back here, pull back here, and pull back here. Uh, here, here, and here, you have uh, uh, already t structure. So you know how to, to decompose this, uh, to, 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 de to decompose this as an exact sequence. And now the fact that, that all the maps are, are pro-smooth means that they're compatible. So you define, for example, that I don't know, uh, the correspondent exact sequence here as the limit of the correspondent exact sequences here. Of course, one, one has, has to, to, to write it, but it's, it's essentially formally follows. OK. And now I have uh, uh, roughly zero, <laughs> <laughs> zero time. But uh, OK, yes. And now maybe, maybe the, I, I will say, 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 D, the, uh, OK, the last time, unfortunately, our space n is not like this. But now assume, assume that our space x has a stratification, xi such that all xi has t structure. Then what I claim is there is a general thing which, which is called, called gluing. That, that you can, can, can glue t structures on each of the xi's, and then you, you get the, the, the t structure here. I mean, aren't you basically in the setup where g is acting on x, finite dimensional fi, and then aren't all these maps from lx times lg to lx, etc.? Okay, okay. okay. <coughs> right, but even on lg mod lg, why is it not pro smooth there? Which one? If you want to apply this to LG mod LG, are you not in the situation where this is this pro smooth group void in this sense? No. No. No, no, because it's it's int. If it's L plus would would, would if it would be in the case of L plus, everything would would be perfect. Ah, okay. No, no. If it would be in the case of L plus, everything would be perfect. I say our problem is that you know LG is not smooth because affine Grassmannian it has 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 has, has an inductive li limit of of, of uh, projective C, projective schemes which are not smooth. So LG is not smooth. This is, this is the problem. Okay, and then some 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 some, some say this is uh, has has stratification, and then there is a uh, by gluing. We are done, and maybe one last thing. What I want to say, let me, I will just one last sentence. I will say what is the affine finger shift and say that <laughs> what is the, uh, yes, yes, let us say affine finger shift. And, okay. What is a fine spring or Grotenich spring shift, of course? Uh, what you do is the following. You, you can see that it's uh, i over i, where i is uh, the corresponding Eva or maybe L plus of i. There is a map from Lg to Lg. There is a projection. Now, the claim that this map is uh, int, uh, int, int proper in inappropriate sense. Yes, actually, it's, 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 it's better n because you know it's uh, it's it's compact element, so so you get up here, and actually you need regular semi-simple. You remember somehow n was a regular semi-simple condition, so you want uh, so the reg then, then first of all I say that this is, has a left adjoint projection, and you define S is a projection of the corresponding. UL bar shift here. And uh, the assertion is that, 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 that so first of all, it's possible to, to define a T structure. Namely, it has a stratification by, uh, by the guys which were defined before, almost, up to some nil potents that I did, did, didn't have time to discuss. And then uh, it's also, in, so the assertion is it is perverse and uh, Equipped with an action of the fine bio group. Thanks. There have been already many questions. Some more questions? 
<laughs> I mean, how critical is it that you use Shriek instead of Star Folder to define everything? Because in this those smooth settings, the two don't really differ, right? Between the right categories and the other. Uh, critical. Mm. No, okay. The question first, first of all, the question is, what does it does it mean? Critical. Uh, it's more convenient. Okay, ah, you you can you can ask whether whether I can define everything. Okay, most of the, okay many of the things here here it's a, let's say the situation is false. Uh, you should should decide whether you want to work on arbitrary prestacks or on prestacks with, with some some condition because our prestacks are essentially uh, somehow. All, uh, somehow finite dimensional up to some pro-unipotent. Pro pro-unipotent is actually does not matter. For those, probably it's 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 not very much different. In general, it's more convenient to work on this one. But on the other hand, hand, hand many of the results you can, can can be translated. And of course, I did not uh, talk about the proof, but actually in some point you need the, the, the for the for the for the perverse, you need need the shriek stock and, and the start stock. So in some sense, sense, we need some kind. So you, you need more operations. They say that, that, that start pull, uh, shriek pullback, sorry, exists always. All the others exist only under the some some assumptions. So the answer is, let's say, I don't. Okay, you you can ask whether I can do it in uh, in the for star. I did not check it. Possible the answer is yes. But then there is the indirection for when you take star. This is one problem. No, 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 no. But but then of the, then the, then then of course you have instead of instead of taking the shriek uh, shriek shift, you have to start shift. Sure. Of course. Okay. There is a good chance that everything sense sense would work. In general, uh, shriek is more con more convenient and okay. So by the same reason reason that Dennis Dennis explained, there is a difference between right right adjoint and left adjoint. But I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, so I invite you to, to, to continue the discussion with research.